Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah and this here is Clint Hansen. Hello. Guess what Clint? What? It's our 20th episode. Uh. We're 20. We're 20 weeks old. That's awesome. It's a milestone. I can't believe that we've been on for 20 weeks. I can't believe that we've done 20 episodes already. That's crazy. Yeah, that is surprising. Shocking. In celebration of 20 episodes, we've decided we would wear camo today. A gray backdrop, gray shirts. Do our, our heads look like they're just floating? It's like, it's like Harry Potter when he puts on the cloak of invisibility. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he goes to the library. So exciting. It's pretty trippy. In honor of today's special episode, we are going to do a question from one of our friends, Clang and Bang. Clang and Bang. This is the second time Clang and Bang has asked us a question that we're going to use. Don't be jealous if we haven't used one of your questions yet. We thought this would be super helpful to you guys. We really wanted to use this one. Uh, but yeah, keep sending us your questions. Don't be jealous. <sighs> so make sure you guys are okay to the question. All right. Question from Clang and Bang. Hey there, Clang and Bang. Good to see you again. Why are the Hanson Barrel lengths unique? Like 17.7, 11.3, 8.3, and 12.3. Hmm. This is a great question. It what is. do you think, Mr. Hansen? They are a little unique. A uh, couple different reasons. 17.7 specifically is because there is an 18 inch Hanson as well. So that, you know, the 18 inch is more of a, a heavier profile, more of a bench rest shooter uh, setup. And the 17.7 is our, uh, was our like uh, three gun offering. So it's got the classic uh, BA Hanson profile that's a little lighter or lightweight without lightweight limitations. The rest of them, when you get down to the shorter lengths, we're really trying to accommodate handguards. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, different handguard lengths in the industry, uh, seven, nine, 10. So if you have a, uh, an 8.3 inch 300 blackout and you have a seven, uh, seven inch rail, a desired look is less barrel sticking out and it's uh, definitely good for use, less barrel sticking out, you know, burn your leg if you're running or anything like that. But also too, if you uh, marry it with a suppressor, you've got a pretty seamless transition from rail to suppressor. It's a very desirable look and a setup for the rig itself. So 10.3 for a nine inch rail, 11.3 for a 10 inch rail, so on and so forth. Um, but you know, to, to be unique, just like the question says, you know, kind of stand out, you know, let you know you're dealing with a handsome profile. That's pretty much the gist of it. Okay. Yeah, good question though, but that's why. You'll remember it, and now you're asking a question about it. I like your answer, Clint. Thanks. Clay and May, Clay I like and your question. Thank you for your question once again. Guys, we so appreciate you. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so that every time we post a new video, you get notified. And we do new Q&A videos every Thursday what what yeah it's true and uh if you want to see this guy answer one of your questions make sure to comment below we can't wait to see what you guys send us you know i just worry because my dachshunds i give one a carrot before I can get to the other one, it's already upset, it's already jealous. You give your dogs carrots. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one of my dogs is kind of, kind of a vegetarian because he has a protein disorder where he can't process it properly. Anyway, guys don't care about that. But he can't have normal dog treats, so we give them lots of veggies. I don't think I've ever given a dog a carrot. Yeah, you can do carrots, cucumber. Uh, we also do green pepper. Darcy loves green peppers. Little Q&A with Sarah right there. Okay. <laughs> 